What's up, Pond family? Happy Monday and uh, happy New Year's to the uh, the Pond tribes people, uh, the Jewish crowd. I was in synagogue um, a couple of times over the weekend. And, you know, we were talking about uh, the laws and the golden rule and, you know, do unto others as you would want to do to yourself or you want them to do to you. And so something happened in one of the groups on Facebook and I wanted to chat about this and I thought it was very, very timely. So somebody asked a question about uh, returning items and all of a sudden in the chat box, you know, people are saying like, don't return money, 10% restocking fee. And just kind of like an aggressive notion towards people buying items and then wanting to return it. And then I thought to myself, of that list of people making comments, how many of those people would want to walk into Target or Walmart, buy a $1,000 item, and then go back the next day and realize it just wasn't the right thing and get charged a 10% restocking fee for it? Now, I know most of the people watching this and those of you who are watching the replay would be pissed off if you bought something for $1,500, returned it within 24 or 48 hours, and were charged 150 bucks. You'd be pissed. You'd get, leave a bad Google review. You'd get angry. And so I want to remind you all that to use the golden rule with your customers as well. Do unto others as you would want them to do to you. If a customer buys a product and comes back the next day and it's the same product, it's not broken, they didn't put a big gash in it, why would you charge them a restocking fee? When every major retailer out there does returns without charging a restocking fee, why would you put yourself through that, your customer through that? And how is that great customer service? if you're going to take away someone's money who in the first place doesn't have that much money to start with. Now, there's a difference between a layaway, you know, 10 month layaway. If it's been a layaway for six months, seven months, that's not what we're talking about here. We are talking about a customer walks in, buys a product, comes back in the next day, seven days and returns the item. It's not broken. It's the same ring. I mean, there's just no, you know, nothing's wrong with the item. Why would you want to piss them off? Why would you do that if it would piss you off? I mean, imagine imagine you bought purses or something from uh, one of the vendors in the pawn industry. And then you go back and you say, hey, you know what? This isn't working out for me. Can I return it? And they say like, oh, sorry. You know, you bought a $6,000 uh, machine. Um, I'm going to have to take away 600, 600 bucks from you. You would jump on every single pawn forum. You would uh, go to every single email thread that you have in the pawn industry, and you would talk smack about this vendor day in and day out. And you would even say, "Hey, and if you don't give me my money back, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk bad about you to every pawnbroker that I know." If that's the case, let me turn this off. If that's the case, why wouldn't do a why wouldn't a customer do that back to you? So, ladies and gentlemen. Experience is thinking through the customer's eyes to see how they're going to experience a transaction with you. And if you haven't built a roadmap of experience, you are missing out on making way more money. If you haven't built the experience roadmap to what it looks like for a customer who sees you on social media or a Google review or a Facebook Live and then walks into the store if you haven't wowed them before, you're losing on bringing people into your location because you think that once they walk through your store, that's where it all starts. Ladies and gentlemen, customer experience starts when somebody Googles you, finds you on Facebook, or watches a video that you've made. Customer experience does not start when they walk through that door. It continues when they walk through the door. It continues when you make a sale. It continues after they leave. How many of you in the comments let me know after somebody buys something, doesn't reach out to them for months on end, right? Doesn't say thank you, doesn't follow up, doesn't make a phone call to say, hey, Dave, you bought that TV from us four months ago, man. Just check it out to see how it's working out for you. We want to make sure that we give the best customer service here. 
at AZ Pawn Shop. If you're not doing that, how can you really say that you give great customer service when the only customer service you're giving is during the transaction? If somebody bought a diamond ring from you six months ago, have you called them to say, hey, just want to make sure that that diamond is still sparkling the same? Does your wife still love it? Does your girlfriend still love it? Does your lover still love it? Whoever it is that bought that. If you're not following up before, during, and after, you are missing out on so much business. Because that call can turn into an upsell. Carly says, we don't contact after the sale. What if that person, you know, a year down the line says, you know what, I really want to upgrade. And this phone call kind of like opened my eyes to that I can upgrade. Or if they need money and they bought something for you. They can say, hey, you know what? I'm really not using it. Do you guys buy it back? Of course we'll buy it back. Of course we'll trade up. Bring it in. We'll check it out. For all the pawnbrokers said they give great customer service only during the transaction, again, you're missing out. And so I challenge you. What's up, Amir? Appreciate you being here. I challenge you to jump into the Boost Your Pawn Business course because we talk about things like this. We roadmap what that looks like to have great leadership, marketing, and strategy, as well as the customer experience. And when you don't think about these things, because it's not taught anywhere else, excuse the term, you're leaving money on the table and you're losing money by not doing this day in and day out. And I don't want you to lose money. I'd rather you you invest a, a, a small amount of money and make a big return. And the Booster Palm Balance course is guaranteed if you don't learn from it at least five times the value of what you invested, I'll give you your money back. So if you're ready to grow your palm business, no joke, without making excuses, if you're ready to grow your palm balance, just today somebody called me and said, Egal, I grew my palm balance, uh, I think it was like 60% in the last three weeks. Three weeks by, by implementing what I've learned from you. So comment boost below. Let's make it happen. It's an amazing course, six weeks that I walk you through leadership, marketing, experience, and strategy, how to grow your business, and how I grew my business, how other pawn leaders are growing their business, and I walk you through it step by step so that you can stop the overwhelm and you can actually take action to make it happen. And the best part about it is we just had um, somebody who went through BYPB and went into the mastermind. And they said, the reason I loved the BYPB course was because for six weeks you held me accountable and I did all the work. They revamped their website. They changed their whole customer experience. They built their mission statement. Um, they implemented budgets and KP. I mean, they just did so much. And it's going to skyrocket. So if you're ready to boost that palm balance, just put boost don't ignore me when I send you a message because I'm on a mission to help a thousand palm brokers to, to make more, to stress less, and to live an epic life. And my guarantee to you is that if you don't do it after this course, I'll give you your money back. So reach out to me. Send me a message if you want to chat. Um, there's never a good time in life to do anything. A lot of palm brokers say it's not a good time. There's never a good time. There's never a good time to start a family, to have a baby, never a good time to open a business. It wasn't you know, people ask me the question, you go, how do I know that this will work? Well, you didn't know it would work when you opened up your pawn shop. There's no certainty in life. The certainty you will have from going through the BYPB course is that you will have way more, you know, ammo to be able to grow your business. That's for sure. Thank you so much, Carly. Carly says he's awesome. Do it. Appreciate you. Um, and I know that the value of it is way more than what I charge, but I really want to help you out. I really, really want to help a thousand palm brokers. So before I wake up and the price goes up, comment boost, reach out to me. Let's make this happen. I've got four more spots left. We start next week. And I'm super excited to take another 10 people through the course of six weeks to teach them leadership, marketing, and strategy that have worked not just for me, but for different pawn businesses across the nation, from small mom and pop shops to multi-store chains. With that, I've got another call. I'll talk to you guys soon. Stay healthy. Stay safe.
Love you all.